This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Let's do it. The second person ever to be crowned NCC Team USA is... Last year, I became the first person to be crowned NCC Team USA, and this year, I am not competing because I came to pass the torch. But before we get to any of that, here's two days of con shenanigans. If you want to see the big event I was in this year, this is that video. This is everything else that happened at home at 2023. Same view of the parking deck from last year. And a view of somebody's wigs on their balcony. But after we got Miku's pigtails reconstructed, I went off to get my badge and on my way, I got to see the unfinished Christmas tree and actually a lot of decorations still being put up. But along with my Idolfest badges, I had also won a badge last year for winning in the costume contest. So I had to go track down the cosplay staff to grab that, which led me into the unfinished dealer's room where I had a reunion with someone very special. Oh, the pig is here. The, the pig is here and Kay is here. Kay, wave. Uh, 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 it's the winner's reunion. <laughs> <laughs> and with the 2022 WCC winners reunited, that was the end of day zero. So Idolfest is tomorrow, but today is also Miku day because I signed up for a photo shoot for Miku today. It's also pretty cold. It, it's unseasonably cold for Orlando at this time of year. And I didn't really bring that many warm clothes because why would you bring that many warm clothes to Florida? But I found out last night that they're selling Winter Cosplay Championship hoodies as merch now. And I want one, I'm gonna buy one. And then I'll actually have something that's warm. But for now, I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna eat some food and then I'm gonna do a bunch of makeup and I'm gonna be Miku. And honestly, maybe it's a little blessing that it's cold because Miku is very warm. <laughs> We're going. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go get footage for me, and then we're gonna shoot with Alex. I have my gloves. My gloves are in my pocket. Do you need your paintbrush? Oh, yeah. You always forget this. Almost forgot it at home. Gimme. My brush. Am I wearing my entire cosplay? I think so. Pretty sure. The giant rusty anchor? Hurt the giant rusty anchor! <laughs> now I have to walk down the stairs. Uh, is that capable? I, it is, but I'm just scared of it. How you do it? We got many footage. Yes. We got a shot with the Christmas tree. I had to wait forever to get the spot with the Marriott, like the, the Marriott selfie spot. Now we have to wait for Alex to do photos. Here's a clip of after my shoot with Alex. <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> but with many footage and photo taken, it was time to get the hell out of Miku. Free from my pigtail prison, we went to go have family lunch with Pins and Snip. We have had lunch and we're going to dealers. We're going to buy things. We're going shopping. That is the line for registration. Oh God. The Christmas tree has been decorated now. Look at this scarabouche hat. home at merch and light stick. So we're gonna go look at the home at merch, but we're probably not gonna buy it till we leave so I don't have to lug around the hoodie, unless they're like almost out. Okay, do you have any VTubers that you love? Do you wanna meet some VTubers? Uh, do you, are you not a big VTuber fan? There's the light sticks, here's the light sticks. They have like a little idol stage for people that signed up online. Which is named Lumica. And you might remember I got sponsored by a company named Lumica way earlier in the year, but that Lumica resells cosplays. And when I saw Lumica on this, I was like, wow, they grew so much that they get to sponsor a thing at home at now, but it's a different one. And they are a company that sells light sticks. Here's the famous people boots. And then there's cosplay stuff, cosplayer boots and cosplays. The pig is here. These two won the trip to Japan. The three behind them, which was made by, worn by two people. She, that's a quick change. Uh, they won the trip to Korea. 
and then Miku is not here. She was supposed to be here. But I didn't want to bring two giant cosplays, so I didn't. We literally didn't have the space. That's a Yaya. Pretty sure that's Yaya. Pretty sure that's Yaya. Pretty sure that's also Yaya. Pretty sure that's also Yaya. Pretty sure that's also Yaya. Are the rest of these just Yaya? I think I know my Yaya enough to say that this is all Yaya. And then the winners from last year. Minus my cosplay because I ran out of space. <laughs> Burnett is here and they have the baby. Use my link. Ooh, what is that? Is it tea? I don't like tea. Oh, it's coffee. Hey. <laughs> I was like, is it tea? It's coffee. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I love it when people are like, is it coffee or tea? I'm like, it's coffee. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. I uh, At another con, a guy handed me a thing at his booth. He's like, oh, it's for our tea. And I was like, I hate tea. <laughs> There's a big tea of two sign. What? I kind of want the man pill. We wandered back over to the merch booth in time to see two members of Aquarius, including Amai Jelly, who is one of my patrons, dancing on the Lumica stage. But then I finally got my WCC hoodie. Update on the red line. It looks pretty bad. Well, uh, I went to the idol party thing. My brain is fried. I'm very tired. It's only 8 o'clock at night, but I woke up at like 6 in the morning. But they gave us a whole bag of swag um and i feel a little bad because each group only got one bag of swag which means the other groups have to split the swag up between them oh but i just get all the swag also right after that i also went to the discord meetup which i didn't film at all because i sort of have to be camp counselor when i do that so but we played cosplay trivia cosplay jeopardy again and this time, when we did this at Momocon, there were no winners because everybody won because everybody tied. Because nobody got any of the questions wrong. But this time, uh, there was one question that threw everybody off. Uh, and I will give you the question and you can tell me if you think you know what it is. I am a thermoplastic popular before the EVA foam days. I am not Warbla. I work like Warbla but I work a little bit differently and I usually come in a tan color. What am I? I won't tell you the answer, but you can leave your answer in the comments below. Whoa. You may notice the coffee makers going off. Uh, I also wanted to tell you that I'm an idiot and I brought ramen with me to make and I brought my little kettle thing but I usually put the cord inside of it. I didn't bring the cord. So I'm using a coffee maker. And if you're gonna make coffee maker ramen, just run the coffee maker through at least once before you make the ramen so that your ramen doesn't taste like coffee. And then make your water. <sighs> anyway, I also got a bunch of presents from people in the Discord, but thank you to anybody that gave me little presents. That is so sweet. It, it's always really cute because it's always like a drawing or an art piece, or I got um, more than one little crocheted thing. And those are so cute because I, 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 I am the kind of person that is very uncomfortable with gifts from people that like cost a lot of money or any money at all. And it means so much more to me to get, you know, a thing that costs you a couple dollars in yarn that you spent time putting your love into or a drawing that you made. That, that means a lot to me. If you ever want to give me a present, please make it something like that. Please don't ever give me something that's expensive. I will be uncomfortable. But yeah, tomorrow's Idol Fest day, so I need to get sleeps tonight. So I'm going to eat my coffee maker ramen and wash my face off, cut all, of all this makeup, and go to bed, and then wake up and put all of this makeup back on my face. I'm assuming most of Idol Fest will get cut out of this video, so I'll talk to you on Friday. It is now Friday. It is the last day of the con. We have completely packed up. And I just wanted to show you something funny. Yesterday we went to Starbucks and they wrote Farah on the cup, which is like, okay, fine. Farah is the name. Maybe I, I have, a, I do have a little bit of a lisp, so I don't think it came out right. Understandable, right? Today we also went to Starbucks and today I'm Dara. Yesterday I was Farah Faceman and today I'm Dara Daceman.
This whole trip has been so cursed. I didn't film at all last night after the meet and greet booth because uh, we, we had a lot of problems. I got footage of everybody else's performance, but my camera overheated during mine. So we only have a little bit of it. We did get some of it. We have enough for the video, but I think, I don't know, I haven't seen it. Yeah, we... I've gotten very bad luck this con. Also, another thing to note is we are on the 14th floor, but this is one of those hotels that doesn't have a 13th floor. So we're on the 13th floor. Everything's been cursed. I'm Dara, my camera overheated. I didn't catch the brush when I was supposed to. I did get quite the crowd pop for not catching it though. So I mean, what else can you ask for? But I don't know what could go wrong today besides the car breaking down or Joe's flight not happening. But today I get to pass the torch for NCC and I'm very excited to do that. But yeah, I get to yell into a microphone who wins NCC and also go backstage and hang out with all my friends in the costume contest. So I think I'm gonna have a great day, but we've been really cursed. So I'm not expecting a lot. All of my stars aligned last year. You can't always get what you want. You can't always get what you want. So we happened to go over to main events at the same time that Pins and Snip were doing their rehearsals. But we also got to meet someone special. Last year was the year of the pig. This year is the year of the cow. Oh my god. Uh, beautiful pizza. Honolulu pizza. Joe let me get the pineapple pizza because he loves me. Okay, weirdly, the two most popular cosplays, I guess it's not even that weird. Two most popular cosplays of the weekend are Nami and Buggy the Clown. Oh my god, there's another Buggy. Like a buggy Miku? Correction, I was saying Nami, I meant Nanami. I also call the show Goo Goo Juju. I, I did mean Nanami. Meant, I thought you meant Nami from one of these. That's what, okay, that's why I, that's where my brain went. But no, I meant Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen, in, in which in our house we call Goo Goo Juju because I think it's funny. More buggy. Another buggy. Another buggy, another buggy. Buggy. Nanami. There's another one. There's another one. There's another buggy. Not me. Where is he? There's another. There's another buggy. There's a non me. I've also seen a lot of the purple character from Jujutsu Kaisen with the thing on his face. I don't remember his name. But he just had that fight in the bathroom. Not me. Oh, and Gojo. That's definitely also non me. I'm very tired, but we're gonna get ice cream coffee and it's the best in the world ice cream coffee ice cream coffee we're getting the florida way which is like vanilla ice cream and coffee it's so good think and i am finally sarah again so now that i had enough coffee to make my brain actually work we went backstage for the costume contest and I finally got to give Diana, who you might remember from the NCC vlog, but she runs the whole costume contest. So she was super busy, but we grabbed her for just a second to give her her Christmas present. Are you ready? All right, okay, first of all, it's exactly what you probably Oh thought, my God. But. No, my God. I told you you would feel things. This is Diana slash Binksy. Saved Sarah's Spaceman, pronounced Space Man, but I actually do call you Sarah Spaceman by Diana. By cutting up the soles of her shoes so she wouldn't fall on stage, fixing exposure on the camera so she got the shot, getting Olivia to give us sweet and money for the bubble waffle, getting everybody to eat the gross licorice. Everybody did need to read the gross licorice. Making her glue on her nails back when she didn't want to. Getting Eric to do the 360 camera shot. Placing Joe in the front of the barrier. Suggesting Joe give me his Crocs. Yeah. Getting the epic shot of Joe crying. Thank you for all you did for me and all you do for the community. We would all be falling off the stage without you. I knew you would fail, babe. Thank you, Sarah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good luck. I Yaya Han spotted. How you doing? I want to go talk to people. 
Will they let me in the other room? I'm just wandering around. That's fair. The cow is here. But with presents finally given away and friends seen, it was time to get our seats to watch the 2023 Winter Cosplay Championship. It's the queen! What are you doing? So WCC has now grown to the point that it has the most international qualifiers of any costume contest in the United States. There's even more than there were last year, so there are a lot of categories. This first one is the solo craftsmanship only, which means they're doing walk-ons, not skits. But they did get to pick their music for the walk-ons, which I think is really cool, and I wish more cons would do that. But all of the craftsmanship only cosplays are competing for a chance to win a trip to Cosfest Singapore. These ones are solo skits, and they're competing to go to Sweden for the Nordic Cosplay Championship. This is the one I won last year. And in this contest, it's 50% craftsmanship based and 50% performance based. But in this category, we had one of my Discord mods, Luxtra's Cosplay, and one of my patrons and fellow cosplay YouTuber, Simrel, and Mew Usagi, who was a fellow Miku last year, but I won't show you too much of this skit and just tell you, do not Google Oshinoko. Just go watch Oshinoko. Really, it's on this category is the craftsmanship only duos. So these are also competing for Cosfest Singapore, but there's also like 300 other awards and judges awards, and sponsors awards. So there's actually a lot of chances to place at this contest. But this is the category that Pins and Snip were in. And because they used video game music, I am pretty sure I can play you this whole thing. And I'm going to because they did amazing. Pin Snip cosplay as Lanskinist Mario This category is duo skits, and these are in the GCOF category. So they're competing for a chance to win a trip to the Jonggi International Cosplay Festival in South Korea. Though I did film this on two different cameras and some of these clips might be a little out of order, but I think these are the GCOF entries. You'll see why I might be confused in a second with the final category, but look, it's Restar again in the best prosthetic I have ever seen. Look at them. They did so good. Okay, so these last ones are for the Extreme Cosplay Gathering, which is a huge international contest that happens in Paris, France. These are skit-based entries, and these entries could also be solos, duos, or even groups, which is why I'm not sure if some of these people are actually in GCOF, but I think I have it right. Oh, and there's also a prize to go to Manga Barcelona, but I don't remember the requirements for that one because I wasn't competing this year, so I didn't read all the rules, but last year's GCOF winner, K Cosplay, was in this category, and I cannot show you the climax of this skit because YouTube, but you know that game you probably played as a kid where you do the little drawing and you try to guess what the word is and you draw a little bit more of the drawing every time you get a letter wrong? Yeah, well, that's what she did to her husband on stage. It's Phantom of the Opera. You get it, right? Right, okay. But with that, the judges went off to deliberate, and I got to go backstage to wait to give away the NCC award. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. I cried, I cried, you made me cry. They've lined them all up for some reason, but I don't know why, because there's a halftime show. The cow is here. I don't know what they're doing, they're doing a bit. The ballerinas are bonding. There's my Mario. Mario! 
And pretty soon, the awards started, and there's a bunch of awards, so we're gonna speed through some of these. These first ones are winners of judges' awards. Judges' awards are chosen by each individual judge, and most of the time, they can be chosen for any reason. For my judges' award, please pretend I'm not wearing this. I chose team number 38, three stars. <laughs> But when I've judged at cons, a lot of times people get chosen for judges awards because they have a really great cosplay, but maybe got beaten out just a little bit by somebody else for a larger award and the judges still want to give them something. So they choose their favorite that was almost there. Next are the sponsor awards, which not every con has, but Hallmat has a ton of them. These are awards with prizes provided by the sponsors of the costume contest, and they think they're chosen by the judges. And I say I think because last year backstage, Hoku Props said he was picking the best prop award. And like, he's qualified to do that. He's like a professional prop maker, but I don't know if he did it this year. I just think he picked it last year. Anyway, I am gonna just show you this whole part though, because it's very special. All right, up next is the Fomore Joy of Cosplay Award, which is an award which showcases excellence in acting. The winner of this award is going to go to... Lunchnet Mario and Luigi! <laughs> Yeah, it is not common for a contest to have this many awards and prizes. This is what makes WCC really special, because even if you don't place in the big titles, you still might walk away with a giant pair of scissors. Let's get to the final awards. These are the, the world traveling trips, guys. We're starting with the runner up for Cos Fest, Singapore Solo. Number 16, Kiki Cannon with the Legend of Zelda. All right, our winner is number two, Omitsuki from Black Bungalow. Now we are going to announce the runner-up for the Nordic Cosplay Championship. So the runner-up of the NCC is number 30, Luna Lady of Light. Team USA, please welcome to stage our NCC Team USA 2023, Sarah Spaceman! A second person ever to be crowned NCC Team USA is number 21, Chickaboo! Okay, I've got some lore to tell ya. So first of all, Chiku Piu? Chick Piu? Chick Chiku Chiku Pi? <laughs> Chiku Pi? This cosplayer. <laughs> but also, back in 2019, I did my first competition skit. And I was an idol master character. And the dance cover that I watched to learn that choreography was a video by Chiku Pi. She didn't teach it to me directly but she had a part in my first dance performance at this competition, by the way. So I don't know, maybe that's just a funny coincidence, but it did kind of feel like fate to get to pass it to her. In the contest community, we sort of all end up seven degrees of Kevin Bacon from each other. We all know somebody that knows somebody that we know. So even when I'm not competing in a contest, whether they're my best friends, my runners up from last year, my fellow winners from last year, a cow, or somebody that barely knows me, but that I learned from, I end up having a lot of people to be proud of. And so I patiently waited for everyone to be done taking photos of the winners, because I had an almost literal torch to pass. <laughs> It's a, it's a plug adapter. I gave her a plug adapter. The plugs are different in Europe. So it's not a literal torch, but it's the gift of electricity. So it almost is. You did it! You got the boom scissors! Ah! 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 You hung your husband, now you get to go to Paris! Ah! Thank you so 
much for watching. If you want to support the channel directly, you can check out my Patreon, where you'll get some exclusive content. But if you're just liking, commenting, subscribing, sending the video to your friend or your mom, or subscribing, then you're supporting the channel too. So thank you. And I have a YouTuber milestone to celebrate. Because this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for making your own website. I may have a graphic design degree, but I never learned to code. So Squarespace is my only hope for a professional looking website. It has a next generation website design system called Fluid Engine, which lets you customize templates to have your website fit anything you need it for without needing to know how to code. They even have an online store feature, so you can sell digital, physical, or even service products right from your Squarespace website. And if you've got a Square reader, you can also sell stuff in person and have it be connected to your Squarespace website and have all of your inventory in sync with the online store. So if you're interested, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash sarahspaceman for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Have I really made it as a YouTuber without my first Squarespace read? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> Thank you to the patrons! Ajax, Zinky Knoll, Anika the Toasty, Zoe, Maria, Finley, A, Chandelier, Eden, Kathy's Coscraft, Sam the Snob, Low, Nika, Zara, Wolfus Cosplay, Joey, Ashling Lee, P Band J, Mayhem Maker Cosplay, Himo Aragumi Cosplay, Pug Shepherd Fursuits, Boss Boss, Phantom Angel, Magical Girl Melanie, Honey Crisp Cos, Lilith, Sydney, Kiara, Underlock V, Cyrus, aka Yoit's 8 Bit, Necky, Boy Toy Name, Noise, Willow, Redwood, Bunny, Clown Supreme, Gumdrop Cos, Bonnie, Azur Kate, Joey, White Rabbit Cosplay, Hachi, Sweet Spectre, Still Beating Heart of Jeff Gordon, Nicole Fox, Moss the Demon Dude, Donna, A Bit of Cake, Cheyenne, Mac, Ethan, Maple Frankcakes, Red Rover Dose, Peste at Calera, Darian, Gassy Peepers, Tiny Wyvern, Polite Crow, Ask Me If You Might Kindly Open the Bins for a Little Rummage, Bee Man, Elias, Lot of Bees, Tear Bear, Ray, Sophie, He May Dairy Cosplay, Cookie, Honeybean, Brittany, Lena, Butter, Shelly, Corden, Nora, Lay, Lollipop, Jester, Tootie, Fruity, Kelly, Spooky, Kitsune Cosplay, Luxters Cosplay, Jennifer, Abby, Lily, Lunar Lepus Cosplay, Crodelia, No Roman, LOL, Amai Deli, Lady Blue Cosplay, Hania, Fake Smiley Seven, Sebastian, Amar, Simrel, Matcha Kit Kat, Walter, Jodi, Coconuts, Night Wolf, Fingus Owl, Laura Polaris Cosplay, Aaron, Tomaki Potato, Gabby Bear, Jesse Two, Sarah, Calico, Another Zip Tie, Lady Senshi, Rembuland Cosplay, Jenna, Kazmira, Tacy, Rory, Astrofox, Kimberly, Tam Tam the Tailor, Legfish, Amanda, Connie, Paul, Joe Burrito, GT Cosplay, Zihibi, Cal, Sansuffle Flare, Run Like Wine, Allison, Queen Platypus, Foxy, McLoxy, Taylor, Tessa Bow, Shell, Alyssa, Wildflower, Max, Melissa, Akima Aki, Chibi Lee, Gloom Shroom, Infinite Salad, Sephestra, Kelly, Hubasta, Magda, Chai, Alba and Brent, Sleepy Ellie, Audrey, Benjamin, Coco Yumi, Skasa, Ariana, Arakis the Tide Gulf, Miner, Food Penguin, Alyssa, Ray Does Cosplay, Katie, Toby, Shellman, Alice, Rebecca, Slushpuff, aka Corn Copy, Samantha, Adriana, Amber, Kim, Saigni Cosplay, Kaimatsu, Block Kitty DJ, Meredith, Sarah, Calbones, Lunar, Lula Rush Cosplay, Smarty Dragon, Marcy, So Into Music, Julian, Cam, Zen, Andrew, Pin, Snip, and Klar. Good crap! I loved y'all skit, it was so fun. Yeah, yeah. Because they gave me permission. It was very Go so, Yeah. Congrats on Thank your you. Thank you.